Well, I'm here with Hemant Mishra. Hello, Hemant. Hi, Sagar. How are you? I'm doing well, Hemant. Uh, we are here at the Isle of Man, and Abhimanyu is playing here. Uh, also, the last couple of months have been very nice for him. He's broken into 2600 yes. and has been doing very well second at the US Championship uh, behind Karuana. I mean, joint second he was. So it's going well. Yes, definitely. I'm very happy that uh, all the hard work he put in the last couple of years that really paid off. And but right now we are talking to each other because you want to talk about a very specific topic uh, that is that has put you in some distress recently. Would that be right to say? Uh, yes, I mean not just recently for the last seven years or so. Seven years. Uh, it's about uh, sponsorship. Yeah, it's about sponsorship. Uh, can you tell us what is right now the situation like with abhimanyu uh, he is one of the most talented youngsters in the us he is also uh, the youngest gm he also became like one of the youngest players to break into 2600 uh, so how is the situation over there unfortunately chess is not treated as a regular sport in us and uh, despite us becoming a big uh, financial superpower and land of fisher Unfortunately chess is it's painful to be a chess player especially upcoming chess player so we and as of now there is no government involvement federal state government involvement and it's i mean it's it's painful but the fact is that it it is it has become more of a tool to get into ivy league colleges players want to get their im or gm title so that they can get into harvard mit big universities but uh, beyond that uh, there is nothing much and uh, somehow there is a the, the bigger problem is that he, there are some scholarships at the earlier level but they all should, the the way things are in the system is such a way that they are, they the money can only be used for the tuition fee so there is nothing for the chess improvement apart from one samford fellowship which is i am really grateful to that abhi has been getting that for last few years but unfortunately that is also diluted in the last few years so apart from that there is no corporate involvement he chessable supported him for for a year or so but after chess.com took over that also was stopped so as of now there is zero corporate involvement zero government involvement and uh, Uh, that is painful because at this level i think i have been trying my level best to support him but things are going into a territory where it will be beyond the scope of an individual or a family so a couple of things here firstly uh, it it feels like chess in the us uh, there is a very uh, strong support in the form of st louis chess club right they hold lot of tournaments they have lot of uh, top gms there so does that become an option for abhimanyu yeah definitely st louis chess club has been doing really great and abhi has been playing in most of their classic events he played in us junior and us uh, championship so that all is helping and i think they are supporting top players also but as of now there is no direct support by chess uh, by st louis chess club kaspro chess foundation is also helping us but the kind of expenses exponent expenses have gone up uh, exponentially and uh, it's very difficult to keep i mean for all practical purposes a parallel mortgage is there for the last 6 7 years so so would you say that uh, as he continues to grow and improve the expenses keep growing because you have to play more tournaments you have to have training and i think one of the major expenses is related to training yes and also sometimes you have to also build up a team around him which is maybe not possible right now but if you get the funds you would like to build a team of seconds or or a team of uh, trainers yeah definitely i think the major expense is uh, especially after he became youngest i am and youngest gm in the world at least there was some visibility and he started getting some invitations so that helped definitely to some extent but training is one aspect where there is so much scope and we did not slow down on the training front he has been working with four or five different top coaches everybody is working on different different aspect and that is where the major expenses how do you uh, do it right now 
No, currently me and my wife, we are supporting him. And uh, I mean, as I mentioned, it's like a parallel mortgage. And uh, things are just, I mean, we, we are just hoping that he'll survive by the time he will break. The way he is very determined to break 26,700 yellow target. He has about 13 months to break that if he can do that. You mean the youngest, the youngest 2,700? Part. Yes. So he has to cover another 75 point, uh, about 80, 85 points, yellow points. And uh, we hope that the, he has been working really hard on that. You know, when it comes to sponsorship, there are uh, companies in India which support some of the players who are at the top. But there are also a lot of players who do not get support. Is that situation similar in the US with so many companies being there? Uh, is it not possible to get some corporate sponsorship or so on from them? I mean, it is really funny because every whenever I talk to companies, the amount needed to support a player like Abhimanyu, that is practically nothing for companies. Uh, especially in US, that is a very negligible amount. And uh, the first reaction is always like, this is nothing and we can always support that. But it seems there is so much inertia in the system and I don't know, even I'm trying to understand why there is no involvement. Plus the media coverage is also not that much there. And uh, of course government support is zero. I mean, uh, he becoming youngest, I am GM, um, US media, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, they don't cover all these things to the extent they should. Uh, it was covered in Europe and in India in a big time when he became youngest, I am in GM. But, uh, there is no recognition, there is nothing actually. But uh, US also has some uh, top players, of course. We, you have uh, Hikaru, uh, there's Fabi, there's Levon, Wesley and so on. But there are also upcoming talents like uh, Sam Sabian who's playing here, Jeffrey Jeong yes. and all of them. Do they also go through these difficulties or how is it? I mean, I'm not sure about all others because Abhi is quite younger than, much younger than him. They are like Sam Seven, Jeffrey Shong, they are the players to which Abhi looked up to it at the beginning and that's how he started working on his chess skills. So they are the role models but I, I think uh, there is no support system, uh, maybe at the top, like when you are in top 15 in the world, maybe there is some support but for up coming players, I think the best thing is Samford Fellowship and earlier it used to be a significant amount to support you for a year or so. It was around $50,000, yes? Ye yes, but now I th they started, uh, it is also diluted, they are giving it to multiple people, so like last year Abhi was one of them and it was given to total seven people, so now the amount is just $10,000 for him and which is, which is covering the two months of expenses for sure, but it is not enough to support a chess player. So, so you would say that roughly the cost of all of this training and all would go roughly to fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year? Yes. And that is what uh, a, a good sponsor who comes in and supports with that amount could really speed up his progress to the top? Yes, definitely. And we are Either way, we are going ahead with uh, with all that. We have not slowed down on the training front. But it will really help and we are open to have a logo in Abhi's Blazer. Uh, if some company is willing to support, we can have a long-term arrangement where he, his, the logo of that company can be there on the Blazer. Well, uh, it's very clear uh, that Abhimanyu is one of the topmost talents in the world of chess. And it would be a pity that uh, if he doesn't get a sponsor and his uh, progress slows down. So I hope that uh, you are able to find one very soon. I just hope so. Hopefully one day. Thank you for your time, Hemant. And thank you for uh, sharing uh, your uh, difficulties. And I'm sure that something good will happen soon. Sure. Thank you so much, Sagar.